Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here on Daniel Street in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bruncher. And I'm Dave Madela. Last week's episode, Ron Richie defeated Ray Gravel. This week, Ron Richie needs to face the number two seed in Dan Goff here. This is going to be a great match. Up first, Dan Gauthier. This is his first appearance from the King of the Palace. He's the number two seed, with an average of a 117, pulling out of Academy Lanes. Box number one, string number one, Dan Gauthier. Little wide right, leaving the full Hossman left, along with the nine pin with no wood. Yep, Dan is a veteran candle pin bowler. His nickname is Shoe. Long story of how he got that nickname. Well, let's see if he can knock down the... No, he just missed the head pin. Had to get the head pin to get the spare. Leaves the 1-7 with a piece of wood behind the 1. Going to be kind of a difficult pickup. Got to hit the object. Got to get the, f the head pin to get the 10. Oh, right around it. Left the 7 pin for a 9 box. Well, that was a strange one. The pin, the pin ricocheted into the sideboard. Didn't make any contact, but went in front of the 7. It happens. It happens. Okay. Up on alley four. And he's left the six for a spare. Spare lead with uh, two pieces of wood behind the six. He's going to have to, uh, the best way to do it, see it, play it, hit it, pick it up for a spare. Use the, use the dead wood behind it to pick up the six pin for a spare. Don't know if he played it like that, but the pin went down. It's a spare. Up now, Ron Richard, pulling out of New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. His average is a 107. This is his fourth appearance on the King of the Palace. Ron Richard up now. Kelly number three, box number one, string number one. Yeah, this is Ron's fourth appearance. Oh, just missed the hit. Leaves an ugly six pin split leave. This is gonna be difficult. Yeah, he, he's leaving the one, two, four. Eight, six, and 10. And he ends up leaving the one, the six, and the 10. Boy, he'd like to get out of this with a 10. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna yeah. have to show us a tough shot. That looks like Uncle Elmer's Ooh. teeth right there. Yes. You know? Boy, oh boy, just missed that head pin. Okay, now see, there's a case, David, where you got two pins in the corner or you got the head pin. If you go after the head pin to try to get the three, maybe it's safe to go after the two corner pins to get the nine pins. But that's, it. that's what I would have done. I would have tried to have, um, this game's all about pinning. So, if the probability is try to pick up the three or going after the two, I would actually go after the two. You've mentioned that numerous occasions, I agree. Three, Getting five, and ten three. on the deck with a piece of wood Good. for a spare. Oh, wide left. He had to go to the other side of that yep. three pin. He's left the, the ten for a ten box. Let's see if he can drill it, come out of here with a ten. He'll be happy with that. Oh, no, he missed it wide left. Okay. 25 to 19 lead for Ron Richard with the hand of Captain Gooden. Dan Galdier up on alley three. Gonna fill the spare. Shoe throws it to the right and he ends up running that four around a little bit and leaves the one, two, four, and the ten with a piece of wood up behind the four and in between the one and just behind it, right where the five pin should be. Yes, in candle pin bone, the one, the three. Excuse me, the one, two, four, ten, known as the washout. You know, unfortunately, he just missed. Yep, it's wiped out. Yeah, washout's a very tough shot. No, very shoe, tough shot. shoe, uh, bowls are on Friday night in the, in the Friday Night Men's Pro League. You know, he's um, a veteran candle pin bowler. He's been doing it for about 30 years. Um, 
and also he's also um, one of the hosts of the Candle Pin for Kids. He's been doing this for about 11 years. You know, I think that is spectacular. Yes, good. The show he does with uh, Billy Bloom up there in the North Shore, it's very entertaining. Oh boy, he just dropped the, the half whisker on the left. Uh, very entertaining show. I've seen it. The audience should hopefully try to find it somewhere. Yeah, it's you, you know, it's usually on the, the four-letter network Nesset. Oh, almost made the half worst. Very, very difficult spare shot. It's called, uh, before it used to be candle pins for kids, now it's called candle pin new generation. Anything to promote the sport. The great sport of candle pin bowling. Nothing like it. You gotta get the youth involved. Okay, he nailed the four pin, got the 10 blocks run, which is up. Looking for the first spare for his string here. I've watched that kill from the kids. Though. It's, um, it's, it's really well, you know, really well done, and the, the kids are amazing on it. And you know, you see him make a lot of tough shots that a lot of bowlers can't make. Now, Ron Richard just dropped the half with the right, took out the three and the nine. Yep. Oh, very disappointing. He's got to find the head pin. Got to throw the strike ball to get this. Little Just light. Not, not enough. Left the seven, the six, and the ten with a piece of wood up against the six and one in front of that. This is going to be a pretty tough pickup for a ten. Shoot the two in the corner. Oh, oh, he went after the wood, took out the seven, got an eight points. Yeah, one of the things I would have done if I was Ron, I think I probably would have waited, you know, the rule is you have to wait for the dead, mid, the dead wood to stop moving, and I think it was still kind of rolling around a little bit. You know, not a lot, but enough to make a difference. right through the middle, leaves an ugly split, three on the right, and the four pin on the left. Four, three, six, and ten. Yeah, very difficult, very, very difficult shot for a spare. Well, you want to hit the three pin on the right, just like oh, you did. Oh, he did, he just he didn't did. get the luck to push over to get the uh, four. Just did not react enough, did not come out far enough, did not make contact with the four pin. Mr. Wood drove the wood into the four, he got the ten. And after four? They're all tied up. 43 to 43. This is going to be a little bit of an interesting match. Well, the shoe's got to try to find the head pin. He wants to get the head pin. Let's see what he gets for a, a leave. Hopefully, maybe get the ham up. He has left the three and the ten with a piece of wood coming up against the three. This is a pretty makeable spare. Left hand side of the three, push it back to the ten. And oh, he went wide left. I personally probably would have went to the right of the three pin, but. Picks up the three, leaves the ten. Both, both bowlers are struggling a little bit, you know? Yeah. They're both trying to find their marks. Only found one, one spare shot so far. Let's see what happens. You never know, Candlepin Bowling could turn around, get an eagle with no problem in a row. He held four in a row. A turkey three in a row. Oh, threw that ball in the ocean. Oh. Took out the seven pin. Oh, oh this is out. just, you know. Well, you know what? It's still all there for a, a spare and heading oh, quarter. Okay. Left or right should take it all. He's got to throw the strike ball to get the spare. Look at this ugly six pin leaf to get a 10 pin. It's oh. kind of looks like, kind of looks like my ex-wife. This leaf? Yeah, yeah, just leave it. Leave it, okay. Okay, he's gonna shoot the head pin, try to get out of this sort of oh. That was actually not a bad yeah. shot to pick up yeah. a 10. That was, left the two and the four. Ten and eight plus, okay, Ron Richard up. Yo, Ron Richard has also been bowling for uh, 30 plus years. And talking to him during the show break. Uh, Enjoys it. Yeah. You can always find him here on, you know, during a tournament or, you know, he bowls on a Friday night league and he also bowls on your Tuesday night men's league. Steve. Yes, Dave. He is a member of my team. If you ever want to heckle Steve, come down on Tuesday nights. Yeah, come on down. I welcome him to talk, talk bowling anytime. The greatest sport in the history of the world. Brian eyes up the spear shot. It's going to be some tricky wood. Yeah, that's it. Four, seven with a piece of wood, hits the wood the way you're supposed to hit it, and the four goes and the seven stays. And he very picks up the seven. Deadwood took out the four pin, but unfortunately the ball with Deadwood did not make contact with the seven. He didn't get the spare. He 
He's got to come back. He needs it. He wants the mock. Let's see what happens. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Steve, your nightmare almost oh. happened. No, don't but get me started. The spread eagle minus one leaves the, oh. the two and the seven, the three, six, and ten with a pe couple of oh, this junk. Could, this could almost be as bad. No, no, nothing is as bad as a spread eagle, but this is just as bad. Uh, oh, whoa. Tried. Left, almost left had three, it. Six. He's got to get the... The three and the six for the ten blocks. Come out of this for the ten. Oh, oh, nice shot. Nice shot for the. After six, Ron Richard 54. Chu, Dan Gothier, 60. Ron's got a handicap of nine going in, so right now it's on, Ron's holding on to a three pin lead with the handicap. Tight match. Yeah, okay, going into box number seven, string number one, lane number three. She wants to find the hole. Half Worcester left. Oh, she gets disappointed with that ball. It just drifted. Four and the five. The piece of wood up against the five. Well, once again. It's a pretty tough shot. I've seen it made. Very difficult to make parallel. Very, well, very one of the one of the best things to do is to try to hit the parallel pin. Is you got to kiss that one pin on one side and try to push it over. Odds of I've seen it. Yeah, odds of that one two hundred fifty shots. Parallel pin. Very difficult. Okay, the shoe up. Whoa! Wide left. But look at this. Wide left to the left. It's not the shoe. It's just shoe. shoe. Okay, shoe. If it was the shoe, then you'd be okay. saying the Nike or. You know, or the converse. It's okay. Shoot. Uh, okay, he's going to shoot. Your, or your generation, the wingtip. He made it. Nice spare shot. He nice pickup. Now, there, he went to the left of the head pin, slid the head pin into the three pin to get the spare. Personally, I always try to split him. I'm not sure about your thoughts on Alan David. On Richard, oh, he's left the one in the tent. He now the wrong. Ron leaves the one ten with the two pieces of wood, one behind, just behind the one. You want to hit this one a little bit on the left hand side of the head pin. Anybody saw my bowling on Friday night knows that I had that shot and I threw that thing in the ocean. Matter of fact, every ball I threw was pretty much in the ocean. It happens. Okay, yeah. shoot the 10 pin for the score. Oh, oh, that oh. didn't count. No, Hit the, the replay machine the clearly showed the rules of can open bowling are enforced in this case. Any contact with the ball hitting a piece of dead wood in the, in the channel negates any pins falling yep. down. Okay, he wants to come back. So we lost the, the pin and trying to make up for it here. Look at this lead. Oh, this is ugly. Well, he's got to go after the head pin. He's got to split the one and the two. Hopefully throw something over there. One, two, four, seven, six, and nine with a piece of wood on the six. Nice pick up for a spare. Oh, what? what a beautiful, beautiful spare. Both Dan and Ron spared in the eighth. This is get a close she match. Wants it. Look at uh, this. He leaves a split. He's got the seven nine with a whole bunch of wood in front of the in front of the nine. This is going to be a pretty tough one of those. Oh, what I say, spraying, spraying. 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 You know, you oh. want to hit that V. He's got to do something. He's got to so make it try to push up everything and around. There, yes, it is. there it is. You know what? Excellent, excellent replay machine shot. You keep mentioning the replay machine like that. We're going to have to give him a raise. Well, we probably, he deserves it. He's the best. He's driving the block. He's, the, he's second to nobody. Eight fell on, on shoe spare. Oh, he wants this spare to get three in a row. Picked up the nine. Picked up the six and left the ten. That's How does that happen? Because he hit the pin a little too full. Oh, frustrated. Everybody knows city. you got to hate this angles. It's kind of like, oh, food. he's frustrated. Everything's he angles. wanted that. It would have been a great, great 
confidence builder, momentum builder. Ron what Ruffin got a spare now. He's dropped seven. seven. One, two, and four with two pieces of wood. Shouldn't really matter with this leave. You want to hit the left, left hand side and pick up the one, two, and four, and run the ladder. Now he, he goes back to back right. spares. Four the ball went into the one into the two. Ricocheted off the side wall and took out the four. Excellent shot by Ron Richard. Yep, now he's working on his another spare. Oh, oh, off to the left. Too bad. Disappointing. Well, he's gotta throw gotta throw the strike ball and make the spare. Yep, he does. Yeah. One, five, three, six, nine, ten, and the seven. No wood on the deck. And he throws it off to the right, leaving oh. the one, three, five, and the seven. Gotta get two out of Two out of, do, minimum of two out of four here, Got to do some pinning. The last pin that probably would be standing, you think, would be the five. Ooh. He just Ooh. off to the left. Ooh. Unfortunate six parts that we oh, have. That's match one is one. over. Ron Richard, 99. Dan Goth here, 114. With Ron's handicap, 108 to 114. Dan, six pin lead going into match number two. Yeah, Dan. It's tight. Yeah, Dan getting the three marks with the good fills, the two weights and the six, really helped his cause. Gave him the lead over Ron Richard now as we go into string number two. Ron needs to find that ball that he was throwing last week. Oh. He was, the, the guy was just on fire. It happens. One week, it every, does. no two weeks are the same. A half, a half a step over to the right or the left means a big world of difference. The hammer. He's opened it up. First one today. Five First pins. The today. last one to drop. Oh, was that a nice shot? The replay machine showing how the five pin went down. Piece of dead wood off the side curtain into the five. Knocked it down. What a way to start. That's what you want. Well, let's see if he. Yo, know, he found it once. Let's see if he can't find it again. Oh, he wants the double. Oh, he knocked down the Head five. Shot and the ball's coming come up. On, the come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not enough. Well, he needs this. N nothing like opening up with a spare strike. Oh, does he want oh, this? A strike spare, excuse me. Oh, no. Wow, he threw that thing into the ocean. Oh, he knew it. Yeah, Everybody's it. laughing at He's laughing. On its way you know, to the natural that's river. That's the, that's the toughest thing is a one-pin spare. Oh, it's the most frustrating thing, Dad. I've talked about it numerous times. Hey. Very difficult. I can't even tell you how many one-pin spares I've missed with wood. Throw it to the left, throw, throw it to the right, right throw it to the left. It, 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 it's more of a slight thing, you, I you, guess. You hit the dead wood, you leave the pin. Everybody looks at you, points and laughs. No, oh, now the shoe starts off, and he's wide right. Yep. Takes out the half whister right. Oh, he's Otherwise known as the half a Worcester. Oh, he's got to throw the strike ball to get the spare. Oh, he throws it off to the right, leaves the one, five, eight, and six. No wood on the on oh, the deck, just one in the channel. Can be a pretty tough pickup. David, I made a statement earlier about dead wood being out of play if it's in the channel. Uh, not necessarily so. In the future, I will go over that where if the ball does make contact with a piece of dead wood in the channel, comes back on the alley and knocks down the pin. In some circumstances, the pin counts. We'll get into that a little bit later. The move okay, he's wide left again. He's left an ugly six pin leaf. Yeah, he's got the one, the three, the six, the ten, the nine, and the eight. Oh, he's he's no wood either. He's laboring. He's got to find, he's got to get it back. Last one and not to drop is the eight. Oh, he wanted that. Nice try. Nice try. She put, very she put a pretty good bit on it. Um, Got to shoot the eight pin to get the ten box. Let's see what happens. Get that piece of wood in the front, though. Oh, drilled it. Nothing happened. Put that it was, straight that back. That was kind of tough because that, that piece of uh, dead wood was all the way up to the front. And probably just covering that eight pin just enough to when the only thing you could hit was the wood. All right, run Richard up. Let's see what happens. Oh, he throws it up. He's got a break. He's left the one and the two. Yep, with a piece of wood. 
Friday, Tuesdays and Friday nights, we kind of joke because every once in a while, Ron will have that ball where it drops. You know, it goes to the left or the right, and he gets a leave like this, and you know, it's come to known as the Richard. You know, he missed the spare, and, uh, you know, uh, and he's disappointed. You know, and it's it, you know, it's wide left, and it's one of those things where it's right there, and you know it. Now he missed you know, wide Ron right. Ron is struggling a little bit now. Missed wide left to the spare, then he missed wide right to the ten. You just got to dial it in. You got to get the spares when they're there. Well, you don't miss very much, and you know, when you're off, you're off. Okay, he's got to find it. He's left the triangle. Yep, leaves the four, seven, and the eight with the two pieces of wood off to the right. Wood shouldn't be a factor. Go right at it. As he attempted to get it for the spare, now he's left with the four and the seven for a ten box. Okay. Let's see what happens with the ten, cross L. Nice, it up. nice ten, nice ten. But getting back to that triangle shot, very difficult. Made maybe 25, 30 percent of the Did time. you do your homework like I asked yeah, you? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. And you know I listen to everything you and Travis tell me. There's well, no doubt about it. You tell me to do something, I do it. Those, those, those are the, the odds. You get it up there, you'll make it 25 out of 100. Now, you think that the 10 would go? Well, you know what? All that wood kind of locked that 10 in its place. He could knock it down for the spot. There he did. All right. Not the ideal place to put the ball, but he capped it and pushed all that wood around to pick it up for a spare. Oh, he wants to find it now. He wants the 8, 9, or the 10. He'd love to get the hammer. Shoe up there, showing the, all the kids. You know that he it. teaches and helps you know, and 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 he's and he's dropped eight. Favorable to spare leave, another two pinner. I don't know about that wood though. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those tough shots. You know, if you can see the two pin, try to squeeze that two into the four. If not, try to play that dead wood off to the right. You just gotta kiss it a little bit. Kiss right. it a little bit, and yeah, there it goes. Yeah, father, father, there he goes. goes. It. Finally got nice a break. Nice shot. And with look, at that, that. look at this excellent replay shot showing what happened. The piece of dead wood took down the other pin for the spare. Beautiful spare. So maybe the brakes do even out. Yeah, that was a nice shot. That's what I just say. You had to hit it, right. kiss it right on the brake. It. Oh, Ron, nice Ron leaves an eight pin it. drop. Oh, he won Six and ten with two pieces of wood, one in right in front of the six and the ten, and one off up by. The, the the pin line. This is going to be tough. The this more is going to be a really tough up, shot. The more I look at this. Oh, no, no, went right into it. Took it out. Excellent shot. Cloud the road with it. Excellent shot. Now Ron's working on a spare. Oh, a little bit light. And three out of four rocked, and only one dropped. Yep. He leaves the three, the nine, and the ten with a whole bunch of wood in between everything. Got to drill the three. Got to drill the three. Looks Hopefully, like takes it all out. Yeah. This. Yeah. This is a pretty bad lead. Yes. Yeah, it up. Nice shot. Two spears in a row. She was working on a spare. Oh, nice little, oh, he found a little bit, oh, but he's Heading left. quarter to the left, and he leaves the three and the nine. This is called the reverse half whisker. Those are the two pins you take out when you can bowling, you have a half whisker right. He's got, oh, he missed the kick up. But notice on the shot here, did, Yep, left and right. You at least wanted to try to pick up one. It just goes the reverse whister, huh? A reverse whister. So what no, a reverse half whister. Reverse half whister. So what is that? Uh, Lynn? Maybe. Or Lowell? Lowell, I don't know. Take your pick. There it is! Somebody called, somebody called, somebody called it. it. They wanted the, 
The hammer, he got it, he delivered it. Nice shot in the sixth ball. After six, Ron Richard 73, Chu 70. Tight match, Ron back with a six pin lead off of that nine handicap. Come on, fall down, fall down. He's starting to sound like one of my kids. He needs it, he wants it, he's gotta have it. Give me, get me, I want. This is a little bit different. This is, is candle pin ball. It is? Yes, this is a little bit different. You gotta hit the head pin with the spinner. Yeah, it's not a bad leave, leaving the head pin. Wanted it. Yo, know, just wanna mention everybody on January 6th through March 16th, we're gonna have Qualifying for the first annual Twin City Challenge, where bowlers out of Mason, bowlers out of the Palace, Candlepin bowlers from all over can try to become the very first Twin City champion. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ten strings. I know I'm going to try it. I'll be in it. Steve I'll be, will be in it. Just as long as he doesn't wear those shorts with the chicken legs sticking out, we'll be good. Yeah. Oh, look at this. You know, He's there's, disappointed. There's going to be two divisions, an A division yep. and a B division. That's right. You know, the A division will be held at New Palace Lanes this year, and the Bs will be held over at Mason's. And then the following year, it's going to be reversed. Mason's will hold the A's and I'll host the Bs. It's open up to both men and women. Men will bowl 10 strings to qualify. Women will bowl 25 strings to qualify. Uh, excuse me, five strings to qualify. Bowl oh, 25 strings. That's a, there'd be a lot of mad women at me if I said you have to qualify for 25 strings. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot yeah, of fun. First you know, annual. It's, it's an endurance it's, thing. You yeah, know? It's, and it's in Fitchburg and in Lemitzer. The, the more bowlers we get, yeah. you know, we're gonna, the field's going to be split 50-50. And then you'll have to bowl another 10. You know, the, the finals are going to be held March 22nd at Mason's for the B divisions. And the A division is going to be held March 29th at 12 p.m. here at New Palace Lanes. You know, there's a lot of prizes involved, and you know that's where you want to see a lot of great bowling, a lot of big scores. All right, the shoe going up to the spare. He nailed it. Nice shot. It's not the shoe. It's the a shoe. shoe. Okay, you're too correct. Me. I'm sorry. You know what's going to happen? I want to go out Friday night yep. when I go bowl with the pros. I want to see shoe there, and he's going to throw the shoe at me. Shoe. All right, shoe up. And on. then I want to come back, and I'm going to hit you with the shoe. The shoe just got the spare on the strike, looking to. And he's dropped seven, he's left the... Two, four, and the five. Oh, very difficult triangle. Very, very difficult. Well, you triangle. know, it's not that difficult. You know, it's... You know, you heat, either try to hit it on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. You put it up ten bin. times, you're going to make him an average of three. See? Okay? Okay? How did that happen? Because he went to the left and not the right like I told him to. He wasn't listening. Doesn't matter. You've stated on previous shows you can go to either side. Uh, don't feel bad, Shu. I've missed this shot, too. Yeah, I Many have times. To. I have to. Very difficult, he nailed it, but he shook his head. He thought he had it. Okay, after eight, we have... Ron Richard, 98. Dan, 107. This is back and forth. Now Dan has the six pin lead. Okay, Ron Richard, now the three. Box number nine. Oh, look at this. Three, seven, eight, wood. Oh boy, I'm gonna go to the right of the three pin. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna go for the left of the the three pin to try to ricochet that ball off into that wood. Uh, no, you missed the object. He had to get he had to get three. That's what Stick happens here. when you throw the ball in the ocean. Yeah, or the Nashua River, one well, or the other. Same, same. I'd rather, I'd rather have the I'd rather have the ocean than Nashua. Well, well I know they're trying to clean it up, but you know, hey. People have said they've seen some three-headed toads down in that place. I thought it was four. Ah, uh, no, it's three heads with two tails. I'm okay. telling you. Okay, he's you know, up last. Nashua has their own Loch Ness monster down there. I'm telling you Probably what. does. You know, it eats cars. Okay. Ron Drop. Richard found the head pin. Gets the hammer in the tenth box. Last Boy, one to go that. was the five. Oh, did he want that head pin? He found it. He got the hammer. He needed. Oh, now we'd love to have the double. Oh, he's got to make up a lot of pins. He wants the double. He wants to close the door on shoe. He wants to move on to the final round. Almost a double. 
Thought he had it. It was a nice ball. He's left the five and the nine. No, Wood split the two. Split the two, and he's got the spare and the strike. Okay, oh, yeah, he knew his wide right. All right, nothing wrong with a nine. Nothing wrong with a nine on Phil. No. And he ends the string with a 127. Excellent candle pin bowling. Shoe up now, working on box number nine. You know, to get a hold of, to sign up for the Twin City Challenge, you can either yeah. call. How do we do it, David? Yeah, you can either call New Palace Lanes, or you can reach out to Mason's Bowling Center and ask for Evan or any of the fine folks that are over there. Yeah, Mason's um, up on Route 12 in Lemonster. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful, nice yeah. place. Evan you Nezafaro, your co-partner in this. Yeah, Evan, the, Evan and I uh, put this thing together, and you know we put our heads together to make sure that and it was. And the only David, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how young you are, how big you are, how tall you are, or who the ravages. Nailed that. Leaves the six and the ten. It's Caleb and Bowling. It's yeah. not finer entertainment. Well, it's the Twin City Challenge between right. Lumberstone and Fitchburg, right. but everybody is welcome. Men, right. women, children. It doesn't it's, matter. It doesn't it's a lot matter. of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's Caleb and Bowling. And just and and for all the people that you know, they say. Well, you know, I don't want to bowl in it because it's this or it's that. It's scratch. It's scratch. So you have your best 10. There's no handicap. There's no giving pins, getting pins. It's all scratch. Okay. So if you got what it takes, come on down, bowl 10, and see if you can make it to the A or the Bs. Final block for shoot. Nailed the head pin. He's left down. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Look at left that English. 10 pin. Did you see the English to try to get the 10 down? Well, he's doing a little body English. I think he had like a little string there trying he's to push. He's got one, two, three, five feet. He did he's got a lot of oh, junk well, in that this deck. This is known as the can't miss. He's got some junk in that trunk. He's got some junk in that trunk. He made it. He made the corner of the building shot. The 10 pin all alone by itself. All the seven at any time. Well, match that. Now he's working on a strike. spare. Yeah, he wants the Finishing up strong. Pin. Yep. Excellent candle pin bowling. 125 plus a ball. Let's see what happens. Come there on! There it goes. What a way to end. The yep. King of the Spare Palace and a 10, and that oh, turned around that and dish. took it from Ron Richard. Richard. There Great. it is. This shoe raising his arms in victory. Talk about a great show. The pressure was on, and he nailed it. The strike on the spare in the tenth box. Yep. Shoe beats Ron, 135 to 127. Two strikes for both of them. Four spares for Ron, seven spares for Dan. Great bowling by both. It was a little tough in the first. You know, a little dicey trying to find each other. You know, it was a lot closer. This one here, close, but a lot a lot of better bowling, You should, as you would say. Dan Galtier, Shoe. Climbing up the ladder to take on another opponent. Excellent bowling. Then that last box really did it for him. Dan Gothier moves on next week to face the number one seed, Louis Maha. Next week, we're going to crown a king. See you then.